who do you vote on? You know, if you've been following this page or following any of my content, do you know that it is not a battle between two candidates? It's not a battle between Trump and Kamala, okay? Many people ask me the question of who am I voting for? Is it Kamala? Is it Trump? Maturin is realizing that the government is a separate entity, okay? Almost like a business, an LLC, okay? Like the local Walmart. But a lot of people look at voting as, okay, they're voting in hopes that they will benefit from the government's aid, all right? Okay, so the government is there to aid you, but not for the reason that you think they are, okay? The reason why they have to aid you is because they are trying to control you, okay? For those of you guys who don't know, the etymology of government means, govern means to control, and mint means mind, all right? So, if, an, if a company is, is the premise of it is to control minds, all right? And this is not the only government in the world. This is a part of the government. These are one, this is one form of government. There's many forms of government, many higher powers out there. But for some reason, we think that this higher power, their job is to make sure that we are good. Okay, I don't say this so that you're pessimistic, but I say this so that you can open your mind to what? Self-sufficiency, all right? The government, the government is for people who aren't self-sufficient, okay? So if you are in a craze about who to vote for, who is gonna be right for me, reality is, you probably won't even be able to see exactly what change can happen from that candidate, okay? They'll say, make sure you're voting for senators, make sure you're voting for um, your councilmen and everything in your state. And all of these things are to be true. And obviously, given the fact that they are supposed to aid us, yes, there is some aid that will be given to you. But I want you to understand that this is a company and everything that they do, everything that they build is to grow its company, all right? Now, I wanna ask you, if you own a company, all right, and let's just say The ones that maybe use the company the most, consume, spend money out the company, probably helps the company make its most money. Want to see that company change want to see that company do better by them. And they think that the way that that's gonna happen is by voting for people that are selected by that company. You know what I mean? It's like black people, African-American, African descent, whatever you want to call it. It's like if we, we probably make Walmart so much money, OK? 
okay? And imagine if one day we complain to Walmart and they say, you know what? We're gonna put somebody else in charge of Walmart, all right? But we're gonna handpick those people. And depending on those people that we handpick, that's who you vote on, okay? There's two different parties, okay? So if there's two different parties, then there is gonna be some type of divide, some type of division, okay? But the main ones that actually vote, they don't truly know what's actually going on. They haven't even read the document of that company. They don't even know all the policies of that company. They don't even know the purpose of that company. Now, let me ask you, is the purpose of Walmart to help its customers feel better in this establishment? Okay, maybe because inherently it can help them make money, but that's the key thing. Their goal is to build their business and make more money in their business. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, unless you are helping a company make money, why would they help you? Okay, if you're not running businesses within the United States, how do you understand what the business of the United States need? Okay, if you're voting only because you are hoping that one candidate would do something that will benefit you, you will be sadly disappointed, just like the many years we have been. Okay, stop thinking that this. This is a company that's for you. It's a company for itself, all right? And there's regulations and laws that it must follow when for its products and services to make sure that it's up in quality. Most people don't know that we, the United States, gets paid off of our labor. The United States gets paid off of our consumption. Every single thing, we are owned by the United States. And when I say we, I'm talking about the citizens of the United States. I'm talking about your straw man, okay? You are not actually, your natural person isn't owned, but there is a piece of you, a digital version of you that is owned by the United States. If they truly wanted to benefit you, why won't any of those presidents come out and say, hey, you guys have a straw man. There's two different versions of you. You guys can use the straw man to get credit and you can use your natural person to protect yourself and not have and to be above these policies. But vote for the people that's not telling you that. OK, follow along with their system, follow along with their Roman circus. And you'll continue to be sadly disappointed. This is why, okay, for the people who say, hey, look, I'm not against people who believe that voting can help you. I'm not against it. All right. I just don't think that we're in a position to truly worry about what someone else's business. Okay because their business is their business. When are you gonna start dealing with your own business affairs? The reason why you are affected by the government or the business of the United States is because you are tuned in, you are tapped in, okay? You need its aid, okay? But if your goal is to become self-sufficient, if your goal is to put yourself in a position to be able to create your own community, your own tribe, your own government, your own situation, your own collaboration conglomerate, you wouldn't need a government. How many wealthy people are complaining about who is going to be voted in? My first mentor, um, one of the first people that taught me about wealth principles and wealth. Um, he was a multimillionaire. He made passive income, I'm talking about upwards to uh, 500 to a million dollars on a monthly basis. I mean, and a good amount of that was passive. 
okay? So he knew a lot about money. He knew a lot about just life. He knows a lot about just like business and the government. And he said, look, man, everything is predetermined. It doesn't matter what you think or whatever is going to happen. Everything is already predetermined. The only thing that you can change is how you view things, how you look at things, and your circumstance, your environment, your bubble. That's the only thing you can change, okay? Thinking that something exterior is gonna change your circumstances, it's not gonna work. Take control, take charge, okay? You don't need a government, okay? I don't say this to keep people from actually going after the, uh, you know, in, in what they believe in. If you truly believe in it, then do it. But I want you to know that your choice here, who goes there, won't change your economic and your financial situation as it is today. Who goes in office won't change whether you become more self-sufficient, okay? You're not voting for a president, you're voting for a public party within a government. Okay. But the overall goal of the government is to meet a specific agenda. So it doesn't matter who is president. It doesn't matter if it's somebody that hates you or somebody that seemingly loves you. Okay. It's been a minute since I dropped a video. Um, leaving been in um maryland since the hurricanes just chilling thank you guys who've been tapped in man down below i have the complete deck guide that's going to teach you about the constitution that's going to teach you about consumer law that's going to teach you about presentments and how to discharge debt okay i also have a free diy credit repair software that's going to be down below in the description all right if you made it all the way to the end, comment the word discharge to let me know that you got here. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace.